I want to introduce you, just come around the table, the Needham family are here in force this morning, uh, uh, and you need to explain, very good morning to you, um, Arthur Needham was your brother, right, yeah. now explain uh, uh, what Arthur's link to the story is. Well Arthur's link is he was, like other people, was here one of the first ones, because he was, um, I've got into the paper because I've forgotten it so many years ago, he was near Hunter's Bar. But as soon as they heard the plane, they came straight into the park. Um, because the park was where we always used to play. We, everybody who lived around here was always in the park in those days. It was just one of those things. Um, but he came into the um, park and he was, he was around like everybody else, one of the first to be at the plane when it happened. Um, it said in the paper um, that he, he got hold of one of the airmen's hands and he had a ring on with the initial H on it. I remember him telling me that. But I know my mum was very upset when he came back that he'd even been involved because we'd lost my dad in the war 18 months earlier and she was still grieving that. So it was a bit of a very emotional time for us in those days. Yeah, and I, I mean, uh, Jane, you, uh, his daughter's for you, I mean, there are many people who have turned out today, as you know, many thousands, who didn't have a direct link to it. They've heard the story much later on. For you and your family, a direct link to what happened that day, what's it been like for you? Um, well, for me, um, it became more special. I, I only found out about 20 years ago when um, David Harvey wrote a book about me, Amigo, and um, I contacted my mum and it was after that point that I found out that dad had had anything had been linked with the with the crash uh, and for me it became really special because um, those 10 men who because I grew up around this area we, we all went to Hunters Bar school with dad uh, obviously letting you know we'd all followed through we all lived around the area so these 10 men who had just been a memorial to us became really special you know the, the, the lives opened up again first we could see all that you know that they've got a background a family young men who sacrificed everything really um, for us and it, it's just an amazing day really what's, uh, what's been what's come out of it and, and for tony and everything that he's done it's fantastic yeah for those people who were watching our coverage this morning so many people have turned up this morning you know to be here and share the emotion were you surprised at just how it, how it, it, it's caught on, you know, how, how people have bought into everything that's happened? Uh, yes, I, I, I felt surprised. Uh, I know about ten years ago, uh, I did go and visit uh, David Harvey, who wrote the book about uh, my amigo. And, uh, and, but I did, uh, I, can, I can reflect back to my childhood, when my father, uh, uh, I, was, I was around about 10, 12 years old, about the similar age to what he was when he came in. But he did tell me that the plane came in and, and he ran uh, towards the plane and he said that there was a pilot who asked him to, to help him, to save him, to pull him out. And he, and he attempted him, but he said he couldn't because he was somehow trapped in the plane. And, uh, and, and I do sort of remember that uh, when he got home, uh, his mother told him off because he'd, he'd singed his hair and he'd singed his, his trousers on, on, on the side. Uh, I think shortly, shortly after he attempted it, it, it was moved on by the um, people who were there, the police were over you know. Uh, so it's, I, I think it's one of these things that in the wartime, it, it's things that you, you did without thinking. I don't think there was, I don't think people were brave, they, they just did it automatic. Um, and sort of like me, uh, Auntie has said, he, he lost his father in 1942. Uh, so, you know, it's, it, it's quite a traumatic sort of period, I think. Well, look, I thank you all very much for sharing your experiences, and thank you so much for joining us uh, uh, this morning. And it is really sobering when you, you, you hear the, the level of sacrifice, and that is why, of course, so many people have turned out here this morning in these beautiful blue skies. Steph, back to you.